I was at home in my hallway and I heard a bang. I come outside, Nat, and I seen that there was a car wreck. And I ran up to her, the car to help her out, to get her out of the vehicle. We looked out and there was wires and the car had wrecked into the telephone pool and a lady was stuck in there. So we ran up there to help her out and there was smoke and sparks and that and just pretty nervous that what had happened to her and making sure that she come out alive and okay. And Whenever I come out the house, I see it, all the lines in the road, the telephone pulls upside down leaking something so you know we got to get her out there pretty fast so we was trying to pry the door open with our hands we didn't have nothing else we was trying to pull it there's about three of us doing it so i'm guessing we got the door loose a little bit so the neighbor came over and he ended up opening the door and it was kind of hard for us to get her out because since she hit the pool the, the dash was kind of on her legs she was stuck in there a little bit what i talked say? to her for a little bit to make sure she was okay and because she was nervous because she was more or less worried about her earring that she had dropped and her car leaving her car keys in there because the car was running after she had wrecked and um, there was smoke and coming out of her car I was walking up the alleyway on my way home and heard a big boom and people screaming so I ran up the alleyway and everybody was outside and at the car and trying to get her out and they took a little bit to get her out and all the electrical wire everywhere were smoking and Everybody got her out, the neighborhood stuck together really well. I was in my kitchen, and I, all I heard was boom and beep, and I smelled smoke and took off, leaving my freezer and my refrigerator wide open, and, and they let, yelled to the neighbor to call 911 because I had turned the bend and seen the car crashed into the telephone pole. Everybody go and see what happened. Everybody wanted to help her. And somebody bring a chair and stay, and then uh, she come, and she an ambulance come and took her in the hospital. Yeah, I came down and tried to uh, calm her down. She wasn't really, like, talking as much. She was, I think, more or less in shock. Poor little lady had her hands on the steering wheel and, and was gripping them. And um, there was three other guys that was down there, and we were just, tr they were trying to forcefully remove the door that it wasn't working. And when every time we tell her to unlock it, she wasn't unlocking it. And then when we finally got the back door unlocked, I just dove through the door to make sure that her uh, seatbelt was unbuckled and that she could crawl through either side. It's a good neighborhood. Everybody looks out for everybody, and if anything happens on our street, we make sure that we're all taken care of.